the rest and be thankful is named after its position on the summit of the Loch Long and Five Pass. A favourite picnic spot since Victorian times, it's a great spot to take a break from driving, check your route and soak in the views. One of the best spots in the area is the Oyster Bar at Cairn Doe. It's the original restaurant of the Loch Fine chain and being located on the longest sea lock in Scotland, you won't find fresher seafood. It is important to take regular breaks from your driving, so just find somewhere to pull over. There's plenty of places like this just to stop, have a picnic, stretch your legs, have a break and check your route, take in a bit more scenery. My next stop is Inverary. Many will tell you that this former capital of Argyll is the prettiest small town in Scotland. With its picturesque setting on the shores of Loch Fyne, it will be difficult to disagree. As you'd expect, Inverary offers an excellent choice of accommodation, shops and places to eat. So if you do plan to stay here for a night, visit the AA.com for suggestions and reviews. Inverary Castle is the most striking feature of the town. With its four imposing spires, this unmistakably Scottish castle was the first of its size and type to be built in a remote part of Scotland. Today, the castle is still home of the Dukes of Argyll and is one of the most visited castles in Scotland. Highland Games are a unique mix of sporting and cultural events dating back to the Warrior Clan days. Whilst today's games are less gruesome, they still showcase traditional events such as wrestling, hammer throwing and caber tossing. One thing's for sure, the strength and size of the competitors will amaze you. When you drive through the glens, it's easy to imagine yourself back in the 17th century when Rob Roy and his clansmen lived as outlaws. Whatever the truth is behind the myth, he's certainly one of Scotland's most colourful characters. <laughs> <laughs> 